Welcome to LaFette Custom Uncensored. Today we're putting the bed back on this 2017-2500. I think that's right, 17 or 18. Uh, I'm going to show you. It's got a uh, start, start off with. We, we took a, a video of it taking off. We're going to show, show it going back on. We'll start off right here in this front left corner there. There's a lineup pin right here. Right there, we're going to line that up when I come down, and then we'll adjust the beds to the holes and start putting the bolts on them. We're going to start letting the bed down now, slowly. Uh, not exactly on there straight, so we'll have to ease it down and adjust it as we go. It'll go down real easy. Now we're going to hit the... Here we'll just have to I'll get down pretty close like... I have to come around and look and see where everything's at right there. Making sure we're fairly good. I have to come up just a little bit. I'll wait till we get down a little more before we do that. Make sure I'm not going to hit anything going down. Right, we're pretty close right here on the tire on this side. Come down a little more. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna keep coming down with it. Looks like we're a little back a little bit. We'll keep coming down. All right. Stop right there. Check everything. Close to the tire still. A little close on the other side, but the bed's sitting at a little bit of an angle. Maybe move it, move it around just a little bit. Going down pretty good. I'm gonna can't slide the bed back around a little bit on this side. Okay. We're going real close right there. Be careful. Be real close right here too. That's gonna go down just a little bit. There, yeah, I think. Yeah, so good. All right. All right. So I'm gonna try to move it forward just a little bit. And that's why I got the blanket over the truck. I don't want it to hit the truck. If it does accidentally hit the truck, hopefully the blanket will stop it from scratching. It should. In the way. Go down a little more. <clears throat> we're going to clear it. Okay, what, let me check this side one more time. Be, on, be sure. Yep. We're clearing it on that side. Go down just a little bit. Okay. Nice word. Fall that way. Go down just a little bit more, I think. Yep. Yeah. 
It looks like the back's on it, on, on the frame back here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what we got going on here. And I'm gonna tuck this uh, gas tank back up under there before it gets down too much further. It'll be hard to get in there. Leave it in there like that. Let it hang. Uh, tell you what I did real quick. I just gas cap, I just folded it. Folded it up under back here. Get it out of the way. The further it goes down, the harder it is to get out. Okay. It actually looks like back of the frame needs to go, and back of the bed needs to go up just a little bit and in some more. I'm gonna go back up with it a little bit. Okay. Kind of moving it around just a little bit. I'm going to let it down just a little bit right here. Put a little weight on the back. I can see my holes right here, so I still know it's got to go in. And uh, over towards the passenger side, uh, I'm going to try to adjust cherry picker a little bit. Uh, Okay, what well, I'm gonna go down with a little more. Keeping an eye on these holes right here. Still got to go in, but Let's see what that was. Ain't looking good right there. Needs to go over a little more still. Not hitting on anything. Yeah. So we got to come this way some. I'm going to go down a little more. <coughs> All right, kind of cocked on me a little bit. Let's see what's going on with that. Getting pretty close up here on this side. Okay, so we have to come forward just a little bit, probably about an inch or so. I'm on a Look at the thing, make sure. Well, what it is, it's uh, come around a little more because of the, the fifth wheel. Look up right here, it's hitting right there. So it's got to come this way. I'm going to uh. Try to pull it this way a little bit and let it come down. Like that. Okay, that'll hold me pretty close to where I need to go. Uh, I think I still definitely got to go forward a little bit, so I'm going to let it down just a little bit more. Take my hole, my lineup hole over here. I 
Right, so I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm gonna come in a little bit more with the cherry picker. Okay. Like that, it moved real easy then. Okay. I think I need to come in just a little bit more. That's like about an inch. Easing it forward. And check this. my line up hole. I can't get it where it needs to be. Okay. I'm gonna set it down just a little bit more and get it in the hole line up hole I think. That'll be enough. <clears throat> Really can't rush this process. You have to do it a little bit at a time. Real close right there. Let it down just a little bit more. Okay. <clears throat> what we got going on. <clears throat> All right. That right there went down in the pilot hole. Uh now what we'll do is uh, I'm going to let it down a little more. We're going to have to the bed needs to come around for the passenger side. <clears throat> Pretty good bit. Okay. Get in there. I'm trying now to make sure our holes are lining up right down the knot. Come around some more. Yeah. Well, that's right. Look at the. Oh, okay. looks like it needs to come back this way just a little bit. Like that. All right, that was good right there. All right, let's go back that way just a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to look <clears throat> at my holes I had for my fifth wheel hookup, and it may help me uh, line my stuff up. No, it looks pretty good. I 
if that helped, that helped or anything. See what these look like from up under here. Oh, pretty good. All right, I like it. All right, so let me get the bolts and uh, we'll start them. The body line here looks good. We uh, didn't hit the cab. Let's. Uh, See if we can get the what bolts. What I'm gonna do we'll start all of them before we tighten and make sure they all go in there. Start off with this one right here. Well. It's not gonna line up like that. All right, so uh, I take these out. Oh, hit my head. Okay. And this is why, you know, I just start them off because get one in there and go it and tighten it down and go the other side. I can't get it started. Gotta re redo it. We'll start it like that. We'll come around and start all these on this side. Find the other side. I'm going to start with this one back here in the back. And it's straight up. Right here at the end of the cab. There you go, I got another one. Right here, I might as well do it while I'm here, too. Right here, you can come in from this side and see it's right here. Oh. Right there. <laughs> well, this thing has a little right thing in the way there. Okay. Okay. Well, I got one more that is uh right here. Well, <laughs> oh, hit the kind of lady. Let me show you what I'm doing. Uh, okay. I don't have a boat right there. Okay, let me, uh, let me just stay right here. Let me go look on the other side real quick. Yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> what we just found out is some beds have eight and some have six. This one has six. Uh, so, we'll go to the other side and put the other three bolts in. And, uh, them up. Looks like my 
I did a video on cutting for the fifth wheel right there. Uh, looks like they lined up pretty good. As far as before I tighten all these down, I'll do the same thing. I'll get up there and look and make sure they're going to fit. Get these two in the back. I was wondering, you know, the old square bodies and the old forwards, you had to drop the bolt down from the top. I was wondering how it was going to be taking this off like this, but that lineup pin over there made it real easy. Not bad at all to put it on. All right. Okay, they're all started now. Uh, let me get up there and check to make sure my fifth wheel stuff lines up before I unhook everything. Uh. I have the pins. I'm not going to install these right now. Uh, I'll explain how they, how they go in there. Uh, basically what you hook your chain to when you hook the fifth wheel up. Uh. That's what it looks like. Uh, you'll hook it through this. It has a washer and a spring, another washer and a nut. Just need to make sure. It's gonna go down in there. It looks like it is not in this one. So I'm gonna have to do a little grinding on that. That one right there lines up good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do real quick, I gotta get my, my drill. And uh, my little grinding wheel on it, just a little bit off the side. There's two pins, one on each side. Uh, we'll just do it like this. We'll uh, get both pins up there that way. Now this one, that one, this one does not fit that one yet. Take a little bit off of this side here, a little bit off that side there. front and a pretty good bit still on the back.
to get to my little thing in the way. It's a little more, it needs to be able to go down pretty easy. Take some more off this side right here. Turn around, let it cut the other way a little bit. Take a little bit more off of this knot here. We'll be good. Hanging up right here. It didn't want to move. All right, so I'm gonna tighten everything up. Oh. I'm gonna be able to use the air on three of them. Right. Start on this side over here. Hmm. I didn't have enough airline. I didn't take into consideration for the cherry picker. Ah! And of course, sometimes this thing just wants to go as soon as you plug it up. All right, let's start off in the back. 
I'm gonna put a, a little more pressure on what they did. Uh, I'm actually gonna do this one with a on his ear. Just like that. Uh, Maybe we got this drop the truck off. I'm gonna have to pause the video just a minute. Hold on a minute. All right, so we had to pause real quick. Friend of mine, Jason, just showed up. We're gonna get back to tightening this one up. I'm gonna use the ratchet. These two. Well, that's what it's on. The other ones at the back. We'll use the air on it. Okay, all right. Go to the back. What? We'll just put the air right there since instead of dragging it on around, we'll just do it with this. Side and tighten them three bolts up. Start off at the back. Up right here. We're getting pretty close. <clears throat> Careful not to bust your knuckles right there. All right. That was tight. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, after we get through tighten up the uh, bolts, we'll put the fuel thing, fuel, hook it back up on the outside and plug all the plugs up. All right. Here we 
go. That right there. <clears throat> we'll, uh, on the boats and the bed, we'll, uh, hook the gas. Make back up right here. Two bolts and a little push pin, push tab. Little star bit right there. Hello. Oh, we line up right there and put this little. Tighten these up first. That's kind of right there on the other side. So what I'm doing now is my little thing to hold my gas cap back there on the other side of the thing. So I'm going to to loosen that bolt up to get it. There we go. I hope it'll come through. There we go. All right, so now I'll put the bolt back in there. Go get a little. Go get my little whip tool. You would have thought you'd need a clip tool on the bed on. Into the gas tank. It's gonna be real easy right here. Uh, now, like that. All right. Gas tank's done. Now we'll plug our lights and stuff back up. Right here. Uh, have three plugs right here. We got to plug up. It's gonna be your lights. Your tail lights and uh, lights in your bed. They'll only fit in one thing, so I'm gonna have to figure out which one goes where. That's the good thing about it, they only go on one. Well, they don't look like any of these fit these plugs. I may have to change the clothes out for a different vehicle. All right. So we'll just hold off right there and we'll have to come back and let you know how that turned out. Definitely these are not the plugs, so I'm going to have to redo these wires right here. 
Okay. Uh, that's a pretty little. Anyway, that ain't no good. Anyway, I'll change that out. So that's how you put the bed on. You need to make sure your wires are right before you put the bed on. You have to change them out. Different bed, different truck. All right, well, like, subscribe, share. Definitely want to comment. Thank you. Have a good day.